Oh, we got into some... <coughs> Black... <coughs> Black junk. Yesterday. I don't know what it is. It smelled like cow shit, but it was all over. She had to... Chloe... Had to give her a bath. She's like 100 pounds. That's... Uh, uh, easy, so I'm hoping she does not get <coughs> a stick. Gotta have a stick. You put the stick up in front of you to knock down the cobwebs. Whew. I'm hoping she does not get in the black goo again today. Because that dearly. can't see the cobwebs, so that's why you have to have the stick, but then ain't working with this shit. Just keeps them out of your face somewhat. Anyway, Whew. Monday, another Monday, <coughs> my son is suffering anguish uh, <clears throat> trying to tell somebody medical advances are being released soon that will heal you they just look at you like you're out of your fucking mind You gotta try to tell them. Protect, protect, protect. So they have some hope. Maybe in the back of their mind. Hey, maybe that stuff my dad was talking about actually is based in some form of reality. Chloe, you want a piece of cheese? Huh? You want a piece of cheese? Oh boy, what do you got? Chloe, what are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, I can't be good. Come here. Chloe, what are you eating? Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Put it down. Here. Eat, Here. eat that instead of the, the rodent. Okay. All right. Come on, Ollie. Come on, let's go. 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 Come on. Dogs. Jesus. That was good. I hear somebody's burning. Chloe, I mean, Oliver, come on. Now he's smelling it. <clears throat> Some kind of a dead mole or a bird or something. Ollie, come on. I know we feed you dog food, but it's got to be better than a dead animal. I would think. Uh, anyway. Uh, yes, there are medical advances coming. Med beds is one of them. It's real. They've had med beds for 80 years, maybe longer, probably longer. It's space technology. It's the stuff that people are selling on, you know, on Earth right now called med beds is, is bullshit. It's the scammers trying to get one last scam in. The real med beds <clears throat> work on some kind of a crystalline thing, and then there's one that works on a <clears throat> like a gel. And it's real. If there's any piece of you left after an accident... They can throw that piece in the med bed or the gel, and, uh, and in a couple hours, have you right back again. <coughs> it goes on your DNA. It's like 
Yeah, kind of what it does is it takes a picture of you or whatever of you and it finds the best part of you there ever was like when you were 22 or whatever and it takes a picture of that and then it tells the machine that's what I want and uh, it turns you into that whatever that picture is and so you're brought back to that level of health and yes that age can take you back in time age wise there can't it's just there's too much evidence too many people talking about it it has to be real all these people that were taken into the secret space program they were abducted served 20 40 60 years and then brought back to the age they were when they left and within and nobody even knew they left it's all it's just too many people doing it it's, it has to be based in some kind of reality how could they all get the same story you know and each one of them has a little new new nuance to it so you're seeing that and it's just real it's it's just real chloe stay out of the goo okay Two more days with the cone on his head. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back and walk with us. Minus his left eye. It's fucking amazing, isn't it? Fucking amazing. Uh, nothing new. The dinars and all that shit looks like it's about to. Whoever has dinars is about to look pretty smart. <clears throat> and, uh, something to do. Some people are going to get so rich from the dinars and the zens and <clears throat> all these other foreign currencies that they're going to cash in that they they they're not going to give you if you don't have a good reason to be stinking rich. They're just going to make you rich, not stinking rich. And the difference is, uh, you got to tell them what you're going to do with the money. <laughs> and they have technology around you that if you lie, they'll know it. So if you say, I got a humanitarian thing I want to do, I want to do this, and da, da, da. By the way, I have that, uh, I have a school all planned out. I think it's going to cost 60 million, but at that point, We'll have so much money, it, it just doesn't even matter. But you have to have a, a something real that you really want to do for humanity. So you sit down with the Dunar guy. He goes, well, what are you going to do? And you got five minutes. What are you going to do with this money? Well, I'm going to open a school. And it's going to be open 24 hours a day. And it's going to be geared towards the youth, but everybody can come. And we're going to teach people the, about the spirit. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. and they go, ooh, that sounds good. We're going to give you the full rate. And that's how it works. That's how it works. Believe it or not. That's how it works. Anyway. Whew, extraterrestrials. Or, I was watching, the, I told you this yesterday, I think Journey to Truth. They had a guy on there who was uh, uh, Dan Cooper. Not D.B. Cooper, but Dan Cooper was well, probably a fake name. Anyway, but uh, talking about his time in the secret space force and talking about, you know, the extraterrestrials. It's, it's just, it's real, man. It's just the way it is. And now it's looking like it's all coming down to the extraterrestrials and that's where we came from and that's why we're here. And, uh, and, and extraterrestrials, Spear Being Alliance, are the ones who've come here to 
make it. They set it. They evened the game out. They sealed Earth off in a big giant dome, protect us against the solar flash, so we won't be fried this time around. There's been the Earth has been fried six times by something that comes around every 20, 25,000 years, but this time the Spear Being Alliance has domes set up around the planet. Come here, and we're not going to get fried this time, and, and instead we're going to go into heaven on Earth, utopic, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Completely healthy, completely young, live as long as you want. Come here. Live as long as you want. Come here. Come here. Come here. Can you catch it if I throw it halfway decent? Nope. I can't look through the camera and throw it. Anyway, uh, that's what's coming. The only, the only thing that people are disagreeing on is wind. But everybody says it's very soon, like days, weeks, months, not months, years. They all saying it's days, weeks, months, not years. So, I don't know what to tell you. Just, you know, hang in there. Just give it six months. You know, you've made it this far. Give it six months, and then give in six months. See if you see anything encouraging, and if you do, give it another six months. If you look and you start, you know, checking things out, mostly on YouTube, you'll 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 find the people I found, and you'll know what I know, and you'll believe what I believe, probably. So. I wonder if Chloe will be drenched in black goo. Uh, dear God, I hope not. I really don't want to give that dog a bath every day. Uh, anyway. Okay, drum roll. You look pretty good. Yeah, I think you missed it. All right, thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, Chloe, come here. Okay. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. Well, have a fine Monday. This stuff's all coming. Please just hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. I'd hate for you to get to heaven. And they go, oh man, if you'd have just made it one more day. I remember that John Wayne movie where they, the movie starts off with a skirmish between the uh, south, so, uh, north and the south. Chloe, Chloe, come on. North and the south, and they kill each other, and sh you know, everybody, a lot of people die in the skirmish. Come on, come on, Chloe. Chloe. And finally, they. One side gives up and dead bodies laying all over the place. And the guy rides up full speed on a horse with a message. The war's been over for a week now. All those people died for no reason. That's what makes me think of these people who give up right now. Don't give up right now. It's never been like this ever, ever before. Chloe, quit smelling that stupid thing. Come on. Tasty dead body. Come on, Chloe. And, uh... It's never been like this ever, ever, ever on planet Earth. Earth, ever. And you're here. And you don't want to leave. If there's anything you can do to hang on, even if you're sick, in pain, whatever. If you can't, you can't. But... Okay.